We're going to join the cast of Young Frankenstein on in London. I have here the program because I can say that I actually saw the show in the first week. And um, we've got uh, Hadley Fraser, of course, Ross Noble, who we interviewed in the Isle of Man a few months ago, and our own very own Perry O'Day. Ah, oh, this is great news. So, first of all, can I congratulate you on a show that uh, is is just so funny? We we all had a good time, and I know it's going down a storm so far in London. Yes. I think so. So far, yeah, audiences are good. We're selling uh, very well and we've extended through till September 2018. So book your tickets. And you're playing Frankenstein, the lead part. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of heavy lifting uh, <laughs> in this show, Paul, and I get to do quite a bit of it. But it's great fun and, you know, it's, um, it, it's not really a hardship to come and do this show every night. But he doesn't flick any of his own switches in the lab, which is what... <laughs> Come in. Yeah. So uh, I have a minion basically yeah, who I, scuttles about. I do a lot of scuttling <laughs> and then uh, and, and throw the switches. Uh, yeah. Uh, how, do you, how do you pronounce your part? Because it's Igor, but it's, you, you, you pronounce it differently, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's um, yeah, Igor. It's right. um, Fra Frankenstein uh, is embarrassed to be called Frankenstein, so he calls himself Frankenstein. Yeah. So Igor, Igor, um, calls Igor, himself. That's it. So yeah. I'm confused now. I'm going to get it wrong tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, Miss Noble, we're, we're, we're used to seeing you on stage. Is this quite a different thing for you? Or do you do acting anyway? I mean, how it's, you still, I mean it? it's still on stage. It's just there's, uh, there's a bit more singing and dancing involved. So, uh, and there's other people. So, yeah, sometimes I can get a little bit, um, I, get, I can get a little bit claustrophobic because I haven't got as much room to move about. But, uh, you know, it's good. It's, it's sort of um, stand up. You can kind of do whatever you want, you know, if you, if you decide to. You know, if you decide to take it off in a particular way, you just think, all oh, right, th this is what's happening now. Whereas with this, it's very much, you know, you've, you've got to sort of stick to the plan. But it's good. I like it because it's a group. It's like a group activity. It's a team sport rather than a, a solo practice. That's what That's I like. That's a nice way to think about it. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you add lip a little bit. I'm guessing you, you kind of big your part up from time to time because that's what you do. No, no, I don't. I don't. Oh, he's terrible at it. <laughs> Every night, he puts an extra ten minutes on the show. There's, uh, no, quite the reverse actually. Um, because it's so tight and because because of the way that Mel Brooks writes, there's no um, there's no need to at all, you know, except for um. Every now and again, we have a bit of a technical problem. You know, it'll be like a one night the set caught fire. Another night, the uh, the hair cart wasn't moving. A light exploded. So if that happens, then me and the doctor here go out and uh, yeah, we do a bit. Of, uh, we do do a little bit of improv. So um, yeah, so I get to I get to do that. But you not, keep your hand in every, do, every yeah, so often. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let, let's talk just, to the man that's stuck in the middle there, very quiet at the back. Our Max boy. <laughs> I've been on stage with this man. I, I, I'm very proud to say that uh, I know Perry quite well. How's he getting on for you? Is he all right? What, Perry? Yeah. Oh, he's a nightmare. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, my God. Steve demands. Yeah, he's so, he's so oh, demanding and entitled. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's genius. He's brilliant. He, um... I'm better than he used to be. I did a show with Paul once, and I forgot to come on for a scene. Yeah. And he was just on the stage by himself. You have got better. Yeah. So I've not done that yet. Yeah, yeah. Not, not come on stage. He's yeah. improved. He's got twinkle yeah. toes as well. Do you know what? You'd see him walking down the street, and you'd think maybe a rugby player, maybe worked in the security line, but. Um, <laughs> Maybe he's an assistant manager of a quick fit. Could be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or a rumbelows in has gone by. Yeah. But you should see him on his feet. Oh, oh unbelievable. The cats are wild. Yeah. yeah. You having a good time, Perry? Anyway, that's the main thing with these crazy guys. Yeah, loving it. Can't complain at all. It's great. And it's a, yeah, from coming from the Isle of Man and being here now, it's great. Okay. Well, um, we need to talk about something that we can help you out with. This is the audience who have a chance to vote on the best shows they've seen. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, the What's On Stage Awards. Excellent. The What's On Stage Awards. So how, what so, do you do? What's On Stage Awards are, I think it's in the 16th year, um, 16th year, and they are awards voted by the public for best new show. We're up for best show, best actor, best supporting actor. And I missed out on best villager this yeah, time. But yeah, we were trying to harsh. we were trying to get a special category, a special uh, category for uh, persons uh, persons dancing in a village. Yeah, yeah. you'd have been a shoo-in. Yeah. Yeah. Unless the village people reformed, in which case that's it's just nightmare. It's yeah. over. <laughs> so you, um, so yeah, you can go to is it uh, what's on stage dot com dot com, dot com, yeah. dot com. Dot com. It's modern, and uh, you just put your postcode in and oh, but hang on. 
It, it's going to be, be a, it's a it's a UK postcode. We might be yeah. okay. We might no, be okay. I, what? We might be okay on that. We, you know, we might be all right. We'll, we'll check it out. But um, check it out. Yeah. I would be very, I'd be very reticent to say that the Iron Man was part of the UK. I think that'd be an angry mob. Oh, mate. well, do yeah. you remember these things I taught you, Mr. Noble, when you came to the Isle of Man? Because I'd given some lessons about the Isle of Man not being part of the UK and all sorts of things. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And you don't go, oh, yeah, you're just an offshoot. Never say it. Ooh. Never say they're an offshoot. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> Listen, we might have to come up with a, a, a GBS postcode for you guys to so, use. So, yeah, if you yeah. could just pick a, just look up, just Google, just anywhere in London. Yeah. Just pick a pick your favourite restaurant yeah. and then just put your postcode in. Done. None of those in crow form. That's the one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ross, any any more uh, touring? You come back to the other man anytime soon? Uh, I'm I'm hoping to. I'm, I'm uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'd quite like to. I've got this. I've got this plan about doing a lot of gigs on the Isle of Man, so yeah, might coincide with say, some sort of event that happens to be on there. Oh, but, wow! We'll and see. of course, we'll, do you remember we'll the see. Villa Marina? Because he he was calling it the Villa Marine. We had a, an issue when we were doing the interview. Do you remember that? No, I, I still call it the Villa Marine. It's uh, it makes me think of um, of an Italian hillside dwelling with a uh, commando. Okay, well, we hope to see you very soon. And thanks, guys, for talking today. Uh, Perry, I hope you get a word in Edgeways uh, sometime. Uh, by the way, just a tip, we call him the Plank here. Well, I, I was calling him when we did the shows because that was part of the show. So if you want to use a nickname, call him the Plank. He'll hate Brilliant. That. Thanks for that. He'll hate that. All the best. And once again, if you're in we, London, we'll, do go and see uh, Young Frankenstein. It really is a great, great night out. You'll really get uh, some belly laughs out of it. And uh, the show is fantastic. Thanks again, guys, for joining us. <laughs>